Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Sun. Um, thanks for coming to see me and to hear what I have to say. This is actually the third review that I've done today. I don't think I've ever done that before. And this is my third one that I've done in like just a few hours. I've been reviewing for quite a while for what, a year and a half maybe? I've done like two reviews in a day before, but I've never done three in this close of, you know, time period before. But I did one on, uh, um, I was invited to do a second Halloween collaboration video, so I had to do one for that. Um, and my last review that I did, um, I asked everybody to pick what fragrance they wanted me to do next out of the three that I gave. Um, so I did that one, which was Intense Cafe by Montal. And now I'm doing another review on um, one of my really good friends. Um, I became friends with him a couple of months ago or a few months ago on YouTube. He's one of my subscribers, and I'm actually subscribed to him. He uh, asked me a few times, and I kept forgetting, so I'm doing it today. He asked me to do my top 10 all-time fragrances, which I don't usually do. I don't usually do, um, a lot of fragrance reviewers usually do top 10 everything. I don't hardly ever do a top 5 or top 10 anything, um, but every once in a while, depending on who asks me, I will do like a tops fragrance review and uh, Tobias is really cool his name is Tobias Nagel Nagel N-A-G-E-L I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name Tobias but um, um, I really like him and he asked me to do this and I decided I would be honored to do it for him um, so first of all let me say this about the fragrances that I've chosen. This could have taken me a lifetime to decide. I have 200, over 200 fragrances, and there's 100 fragrances of those 200 that I consider my top 10 favorites. Um, so I could have spent an eternity trying to pick these top 10 for this review. Um, because I love so many of them in different ways. So instead of, you know, taking too much time, I just, I was just like, okay, just pick 10 that you know are going to be in your top 10 and just like, because my mind could change. My mind's already changing. So I just had to pick 10. And all of these, it, I don't have them in any particular order. And there's no specific reason why I pick these 10. That's not because of the quality, all of them or anything, they all they all have different reasons why I picked them. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I picked these two. I'm doing two for um, one, and it's because these two are really what started my fragrance journey, I think, when I was probably, I don't know how old I was. I could have been seven or eight years old, but I remember smelling these when I was little, little tiny kid and I was just like in awe of these fragrances um, so this actually these two actually got me started in my fragrance journey when I was like seven or eight probably um, but I, I these two are going to be a one spot um, Old Spice and Brute um, the reason I chose these is Memories and sentimental value and just in general I love the way they smell so that's one of my picks is these Old Spice and Brute. Um, my next pick is another one that blew me away this was got me started on my high quality sophisticated elegant fragrance journey this was the most elegant fragrance I've ever smelled in 1982, and it still is to this day one of my all-time favorite masculine, elegant, sophisticated fragrances that is one of the most underrated fragrances that I could possibly think of. Um, Paul Sebastian, 
come out in 1979. Um, I've had this since like 1982, and this has to go in my top 10 of all time ever. It's so beautiful. Um, another one that I've had for a long time, um, this one was way ahead of its time. When I first sprayed this on, I was just like in awe also. I think that's the main reason I picked most of these is because the first time I smelled these, I was just like blown away. I think that's one of the reasons. But uh, Opium Pour Ohm by Yves Saint Laurent, this is the Eau de Toilette. This blew me away when I had it in the 80s. Um, this one I picked because the first time I smelled it, it blew me away. But I think this was the first fragrance that I ordered when I joined the fragrance community in 2018. Um, I didn't even know there was a fragrance community or fragrance YouTube reviewers or fragrance Facebook groups. Um, but when I joined and they, they took me in, um, and I think this might have been my first purchase right after I joined the fragrance community or fragrance family. Um, this one is such a beautiful vetiver fragrance. It's like a very clean crisp boozy vetiver um, this has been discontinued a long time ago and it's extremely hard to find but this has to go into my top 10 favorite Le Vetiver by Carvin Eau de Parfum um, I love this so much I have uh, this is a 75 mil I have three of these because I found out it was going to be discontinued so I had to get a lifetime supply um, another vetiver that I fell in love with that has to go in my top 10. This is actually John Harper's favorite fragrance too, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful, masculine, elegant fragrance. Um, Guerlain vetiver has to go in my top 10. Um, probably a fragrance that I would have to pick probably my number one ahead of its time house and fragrance um, when this come out um, when when Angel Men first come out by Mugler there was nothing else like it except uh, Angel by Mugler which come out in 96 I believe but this was way ahead of its time uh, mixture of like vanilla and coffee and patchouli beautiful thick probably one of my favorite winter fragrances of all time um, Pure Tonka by Mugler would have to go in my top 10. Uh, this one is very, very expensive, but I think it's actually worth the money. Um, I love tobacco fragrances, and this is probably my favorite tobacco fragrance. Um, or at least it's um, joined with another um, tobacco fragrance but it has to go in my number one spot. Beautiful, 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 well-made um, tobacco fragrance paired by Parfums de Marley has to go in my top 10. Um, and the next two won't surprise anybody. If y'all know me, if y'all have seen any of my reviews or know me at all, you know these two are going to be in my top 10. Ancre Noir Sport by Lalique. One of the most beautiful fragrances that I've ever had the pleasure to experience in my entire life. Um, and don't let the sport in here fool you because it's just a freaking awesome fragrance. And another uh, one of the most beautiful fragrances I've ever smelled before too is uh, Jepore Ohm Eau de Parfum by Bougeron. Y'all know that, uh, that I love this too. It's actually my profile picture on my... Facebook page and my YouTube channel. That's how much I love it. And I got this, I don't know, six months ago. And I didn't like this at first. I did not like this at first. This was extremely hard to get and very expensive because uh, you just can't get it. In the United States, I had to order it from uh, Europe. Um, but I didn't like this at first. But I kept wearing it. And every time I wore it, I started liking it more. And by, you know, the 10th or 15th wearing of this, I was like, oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is like, this is for definitely for special occasions. 
Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Dior Ohm Parfum. Um, I fell in love with this. I didn't like it at first, but I ended up falling in, in love with it. But that's it for my top 10. Um, I think I picked pretty good. I still have a bunch of in my cabinets that could have easily been in my top 10 but I chose these today so anyway that's it for my top 10 Tobias and uh, I love you guys and um, I'm so thankful to be able to do this um, fragrance reviewing um, and share my thoughts and experiences with everybody about something that I'm very passionate about um, as a matter of fact I think one of them I'm going to actually do a review of my fragrance reviewing journey here pretty soon and let y'all know what I've been through and what I've went through and what it was like for me starting out up until now. So I think I'm going to do a little video of that also. But anyway, I love you guys and I hope y'all have a good day and I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.